As the campaign trail heats up, Minnesota continues to draw some attention from campaigns on both sides. This afternoon, Pete Buttigieg visited the St. Paul VFW to make the case that veterans should support the Biden-Harris campaign. Valley News Team's Quinn Gorham was there and has more. Friday at the St. Paul VFW, former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg spoke with Minnesota veterans. I'm thinking a lot, especially as I landed this morning, about the people I served with and the people I trained with, whether it was stateside in, in uh, reserve units and trainings or wh whether it was downrange. The topic, President Biden's campaign. Buttigieg and others made the case that Biden's time in office has been a net positive for veterans. So much depends on the trust that America places in its president to do the right thing for service members uh, and for veterans. And Joe Biden has done that. The former mayor touted things like the PACT Act, which expanded health care for service members exposed to burn pits and other hazards. In turn, he asked to hear from local pro-Biden veterans about their families and their experiences under the administration. I just like have this so confidence, a great confidence in the administration taking care of my two boys who are mm -hmm. currently serving and they will take care of him in the future. Buttigieg's visit comes amid a growing split in the Minnesota DFL over whether Biden should remain the Democratic nominee. Earlier this week, Representative Angie Craig and several state lawmakers took to social media to encourage him to step aside. This visit also comes just one day after Biden addressed NATO members in a press conference that contained several mistaken identities. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> President Putin. He's going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. Buttigieg didn't take questions from the media, and when asked about the speech, he didn't comment. Mr. Secretary, any comments on last night's speech? But other Minnesota leaders seem firmly behind the president. Last week, Governor Tim Walz pronounced continued support for the president. Thursday night was a bad performance. It was a bad hit, if you will, on that. But it doesn't impact what I believe he's delivering. In St. Paul, Quinn Gorham, Valley News Live. Buttigieg's visit comes just a few months after former President Trump and current First Lady Jill Biden made campaign stops in Minnesota. That was earlier this year. As the Red River Valley Fair winds down, another fair is just getting started. We'll break down some options for this weekend next.